good morning and be welcome to this new episode of this series on my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you what I have done so far. First of all, I would like to say thank you to people who have been watching, uh, who have been making comments, who have been clicking likes to my previous episodes of this series on my YouTube channel. Every like, every view, every comment makes me be more, um, uh, makes me be motivated to keep doing this series on my YouTube channel. This building uh, construction in Minecraft is quite difficult because this is an old building, an old, uh, an old architect architecture building. It's a palace of the 18th century. And making everything, the palace in Minecraft, has uh, has a certain degree of difficulty because some things cannot be equal, as cannot be the same as happens in real life, as it happens in real life in the Royal Palace of Madrid. So, thank you very much to you all, and I will keep doing this Royal Palace of Madrid in Minecraft. Alright, so for this episode I will talk about three things that I have done for today, for this episode. As you, we are flying right now in Minecraft, and from this height you can see that I have made some things some new things um, in comparison to the last episode. The first, the three, the three things that I will talk about now are the um, that I have done for today for this episode are the king's apartments, the king's the king's apartment stairs, auxiliary rooms um, that I have done in this royal palace of Madrid. And I will talk about the King's apartment itself. Well, let's talk about firstly about the King's apartment stairs. The King's apartment stairs is located over here. The King's apartment stairs, uh, it's an important, uh, well, it's an important feature of the King's apartment because it's the entrance to this part of the palace. As I have said before, the Royal Palace of Madrid, at least in the second floor or the main floor, or called the Piano Nobile, uh, is the floor where the state rooms are and the main private rooms of the palace are. In the second floor, the palace is divided into four apartments. The King's apartment, the second apartment, I'm sorry, the King's apartment, the Queen's apartment, the Prince of Asturias apartment, and the Princess of Asturias apartment. The Prince and the Princess of Asturias are the, the, the Crown Prince and Crown Princess of the Spanish Crown, the Spanish monarchy. Besides these four apartments in the second floor, in the second, the main, in the second floor, there is the chapel of the Royal Palace of Madrid. So there are five parts which uh, comprehends the second floor. So well, the king's apartment, it's maybe uh, along with the, cha the chapel, or maybe it's more important than the chapel, as you know, the, um, an important part of the royal palace of Madrid, because it's the rooms are its apartment from the king. The more important rooms, the throne room, the ante rooms, the guards room and the private rooms for the king. So this all this this important part have to has to have an important entrance and that entrance is the king's apartment stairs as you are seeing right now. Um, well the the king's apartment stairs is all this room as I, I am pointed right now, it's everything, it's all this. 
and actually let's start let's tour let's make a tour in order to let you see how this will be finished in building the entrance of the palace the main entrance of the palace will be here one will get to the palace this way i am referring that we're supposing that we are in the first floor then we go then we get to this part and then you will see a uh, big stairs which will which whose bottom part is over here and whose upper part is over there or top part is over there so the stairs will go on or go up from this point and this and this and this way up to this uh, top part of the stairs the king's apartment stairs is a um, group of stairs actually because we have th this one which is the main one and then we have these auxiliary stairs which will be linked to the main one with this other part it will be like this and then there will be a point in the middle between the bottom part and the top part and from this middle part there will be a little stair which leads to uh to the auxiliary stairs which is this one and then it happens the same in this other part a little stair which goes to the this go to this to this other auxiliary stairs and so on this the auxiliary stairs will lead to this other way to this way which is the same one which is the same one which leads which is leaded by the main stairs and to this other part which will go to the ballroom or the dining room there is a hallway there will be a hallway, um, hallway over here and then we get to the dining room or the ballroom and the same thing happens in the other auxiliary room in this way one will get to the part of the palace where the main stairs uh, leads also and then the other part of these auxiliary stairs goes to the ballroom or the dining room um, well the holes that you are seeing it's a feature it's it's a space between stairs there will be nothing between the main stair and this auxiliary stair and the main stair and this auxiliary stair so this is um so this is what happens what this is what there is in the king's apartment stairs as long as i keep building everything this or oh, this this palace i will keep telling you more features about this king's apartment stairs um then we've got the king's apartment stairs ends in this part which is almost a, a sort of entrance of the king's apartment and then we go to a lobby a lobby it's a very big lobby as you can see it's all this part in my previous series of the royal palace of madrid in my youtube channel i did i did the royal palace of madrid but in a in a how you say this in a smaller scale so when i did this part the lobby was very was not as you are seeing right now it was it was tiny it was it was not as big as you are seeing right now so this is one of the things positive things to do this is one of the positive things of building the royal palace of madrid in minecraft in a bigger scale this positive this positive thing is one is that one can get more accurate dimensions of the rooms as as this one as i have said before this is a, my fourth attempt of doing of building the royal palace of madrid in minecraft and in this attempt in this series in this attempt which is which is in my in this series um i am following all the building process in a bigger scale in and um, a bigger scale trying to be and trying to read the building plan in an accurate way 
trying to do things in a bigger scale, uh, following the building plans. Uh, let lets me have these results. All right, and after this lobby, we go to the guard room, which I have already mentioned it, uh, which I have already mentioned in the previous episode of this series. I'm sorry. <coughs> All right. The second thing that I would like to talk in this episode is the auxiliary rooms which are close to the stairs, the king's apartment stairs. I will focus in this one. Actually, this is another auxiliary room, but uh, this is another auxiliary room, room, but I will focus on this one. This auxiliary room has a sort of little yard or a little courtyard. I think that's the correct word, courtyard. Um, in which, which is located in this auxiliary room. Sorry. Uh, why is why is there this little yard, courtyard? Because this brings natural light, because this will be an open space from up the sky. So this, there will be a window over here, which will be next to the King's Apartment stairs. So there will be natural light due to this little courtyard. Um, besides that, I understand that this room, it's a room which, uh, whose usage is to connect many other rooms uh, close to this one, to this auxiliary room. As you can see, it links to the last anteroom to the throne room. It links to this another secondary room, and to this another to this other secondary room. So well, this is what this is what it is about. This auxiliary room. The third thing that I would like to talk about in this episode is the the big achievement that I made um, to move almost all Minecraft log foundations of the King's apartment to left, two blocks left. In the last episode, I talked about um, a mistake in my measures about this uh, foundation process. In the last episode, I said that I make another measure because of some relocation of some walls, and, and well, I have already said that in the previous episode. So I have to do, I have to move the foundation two blocks left, and that's what I did. I I move almost all this part of the corner and all that part that I am pointed right now, two blocks left. So if we are here in this part, two blocks left. It's exactly the same in this part. So if this is the part, uh, if we are if, uh, being in this part, two blocks left. I have to move everything, two blocks left. So the 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 spaces the room spaces uh, become became wider, two blocks, two Minecraft blocks, and I have to I have to do some I ha I had to do uh, some new measures and some new uh, found foundation foundation design. Uh, well, two blocks is not too much, but since this is an old Minecraft, it's an old building construction, an, an old architecture building, and since it has many details, as the windows, spaces, the door spaces, the, for example, this, the, the fireplaces of the rooms, and all these things of the columns in the facade of the palace, you can see that it's uh, it could be two blocks left, two blocks Minecraft. It could be two 
two Minecraft blocks left, but with all these details, it is very important to be accurate and to be um, to have to do all this with in an accurate way in, and with patience. If I want to have a good product and I want to have a good building, Minecraft building, I have to do everything um, perfect as much as it is possible. So well, this is what I did. All this um, relocation of the foundations. I am meaning to the two blocks left uh, foundations relocation was up to this part. And well, and that will be all for this episode. Mm -hmm. uh, little by little, I am doing uh, everything. Uh, another thing that I will I will not like to miss telling you all telling you all is that since I have done the new King's apartment limits foundations that makes that made me have to reconsider the design of this part of the throne room uh, according to the building plan that wall which I am pointing right now have to be in a have to be pointed to a wall over here so this I have to redesign this part of the wall of the throne room which is different to what I have done before as you can see which uh, this other part which is exactly what happened in that part before but in on on, on the other side it's different what I have to what I have done now for now you can see this what is in the present and you can see what it was in the past what I what I got there before the modification was this thing but on the other way on, on let's say in the in an other way in a mirror effect on the contrary on well um, I think that I am letting myself understand in what I am trying to say. It was in the opposite side. Well, um, I think now I have finished everything that I uh, uh, that I have finished everything which I wanted to say for this episode. Thank you very much for your interest in this series of my YouTube channel. As I have already said, every episode of this series have. Uh, has an equivalent in a Spanish language version. All right, so that will be all. Um, thank you very much for your interest in this series of my YouTube channel. I hope that you have a good day and goodbye.